Hello, Vercel. Today, we're going to be talking about engineering your site for answer engine optimization. My name is Dylan Babs, and I'm the CTO and co-founder of Profound. Our goal is to help brands win in the age of generative search. What that means is we're building a platform to help companies understand and control their visibility in answer engines such as ChatGPT, Perplexity, and Google AI mode. Today, we're going to be talking about how answer, how answer engines work, some key strategies you can employ as a developer to win in answer engine optimization, as well as how Profound could help you out. And we're also going to be releasing two key new features to also help you with connecting Vercel to Profound. Let's dive in. The platform shift towards answer engines has already begun. LLMs are no longer just this developer-forward tool that we use to help generate code or improve our workflows. They're starting to enter the mainstream as a new consumer product, and people are starting to actually change their traditional search queries into these answer engine queries. So people might traditionally look up product discovery or find new information with Google, but they're now doing that in things like ChatGPT and Perplexity. There's over 500 million weekly active users in ChatGPT as well. Let's dive into the user experience about how these two work. On the left, we have traditional search. Someone would put in a query about looking up some compliance software. And then you would get a list of 10 blue links with a description and a title on the page. And it's really your job as the user to actually go figure out which link you want to click on. And then you navigate to the page, and you actually have to find the information yourself. And if you're lucky, you'll get that info. But sometimes it requires going back to a second or a third page. And now if we look on the right, if we contrast that with an answer engine, it's really quite a magical experience. You enter a query, and then the answer engine is going to go pull from a wide variety of sources on the internet, and then go give you a nice, concise, cohesive response. And kind of the biggest difference here that you might notice is that you get everything you need directly in the response of the answer engine. And so this represents kind of the future that we're heading towards. We call this the zero-click future, because users no longer need to actually click on your website to get the information. It's going to come summarized in this one response. In fact, Ahrefs, which is a traditional SEO company, recently published research seeing that the top sites are actually decreasing 34.5% in terms of total traffic and clicks due to this new emergence of the zero-click internet. That means, as developers of websites, we're actually going to expect to see search uh, traffic actually decreasing because of this. And then also, for those of us who run e-commerce sites or work in commerce, um, this is also going to play a major factor here as well. Our research here at Profound shows that by 2027, we expect answer engines to drive more than $2.5 trillion in commerce annually. So this is something that you really need to be thinking about as a developer, and I'm going to help you optimize your site for it and prepare for this future. A lot of you all are probably familiar with SEO. I mean, being here at the Vercel conference, I'm sure we've all really spent a lot of time server-side rendering our React to really make it effective for SEO. AEO and SEO are actually kind of the same goal, but it's a little bit of a different game. With AEO, you're really fighting to get into the answer. And with SEO, you're only really fighting to get in those top 10 links. So really now, to optimize your sites for answer engines, you really now have to get inside the top results, but then also ensure that your content is going to be used by the LLM. And we'll talk a little bit about what exactly is the modern answer engine. How many of you all remember about a year and a half ago or so, you would ask kind of like a time-sensitive query to ChatGPT and would reply back with, as my last knowledge update, I no longer have this information. Those times are gone. The modern answer engine is really a complex application in which you're talking to an LLM, but it also has the ability to use and employ a few set of tools. And one of those is the web search tool. This means now that when you answer and ask questions to ChatGPT, you're going to be getting information that could be pulled from a wide variety of sources that could have been published just recently. So it's pretty interesting to see that now search is also kind of a pretty big factor in terms of answer engine optimization. 
it's not about trying to get into the training data of the LLM anymore, but rather to get the answer engine to use your sources and then use your content as well. And we'll talk a little bit about how an answer engine might work in a situation like this. So I have an ambitious goal that I'm thinking about. Maybe I want to go run the New York City Marathon. Just kidding, probably not. But we'll kind of walk through a scenario like this. I might type into ChatGPT. I'm thinking about running the marathon. I'm a novice runner. What type of shoes should I recommend? And what ChatGPT is going to do is going to take this query, and then it's going to determine whether this is something generative. For example, is this like, am I going to write a letter to my boss about quitting? Or am I looking for new information? And if we're looking for new information, what it's going to do is say, OK, we need to trigger a search. But before it does that, what it's going to do is it's going to actually take your prompt and transform it into a high intent search query. So it might be something like top running shoes 2025. And where it gets interesting now is that it will take that high intent search query and pass it to the Bing Search API. The Bing Search API is going to use the top results there. And then a new tool called WebGBT is basically going to identify what sources it wants to use for the answer. So you can now start already see that the optimization game starts to change a little bit. Once you get those top sources, we then pass it to the LLM as context. And the LLM is basically going to summarize those different pieces of content from the sources and give you this nice one cohesive answer. So you can start to really see that answer engine optimization really is a combination of both getting in the search and then getting the model to actually use your information. And in order to win in AEO, it comes down to two different components. You have to win with both content and the technical implementation. If you only do one, your results are not going to stand out. But if you do both, you're going to be killing it in this game. So we'll talk a little bit about both of these. The first one, we'll keep it light, because this is mostly relevant for the marketers or the writers in the room. But basically, you want to structure and write your content so that models need what they have, so they could get what they have to confidently answer their questions. So it's very important to optimize for the paragraph and not the page. You want to make sure that your answer has a lot of structured Q&A, direct quotes and facts, and really have it be easy for the model to actually get the info they need and use it in an expert in the answer. There's a lot more information and strategies on this, which I would recommend checking out on our blog, tryprofound.com. But because this is a developer conference, we're going to keep a lot of these strategies here more relevant to things that you could do as a developer today to keep your site up to date and optimize for this new age of generative search. The first one we'll talk about will be server-side rendering. Server-side rendering, as we all know, is very important. But for answer engine optimization, it is absolutely critical. And the reason for that is that all the top crawlers from OpenAI, Anthropic, Meta, et cetera, are actually not rendering on page JavaScript. That means that if you're dynamically fetching content and rendering it client side, it's going to be absolutely visible, sorry, invisible to the crawlers. So this means that it's at the utmost important to actually make sure all your content, you are server-side rendering. And as Next.js developers, we all know how to do that quite easily with the app router, incremental static regeneration, static generation, et cetera. Next up is Schema. Schema is a framework in the uh, search community to actually show structured data on your site. From working with our clients here at Profound and running a ton of experimentation, we've actually found that pages with structured data actually perform 200% better in terms of getting the models to select you in answer engines. And I think the reason for this is you basically want to show the most important data in a very easy way for the models to parse it. And we've also found it particularly effective for FAQ-style uh, schema as well for pages. Next up, we have LLMs.txt. This is a framework that I'm sure a few of you have heard about or seen on the internet. This is something that's being pioneered by the community. And it really acts as almost like a table of contents to tell the crawlers where to look. You could think of it as a roadmap of your content on your website, but with descriptions. Taking a look here at the diagram, you could see that this might be an LLMs.txt page for your site where you have the title, a description of what it does, and then all the major navigational links with descriptions as well. 
So far, this is something that is certainly being pioneered by the community, and there hasn't been widespread adoption across the platforms and models. However, this is something that we are still pushing here because it is quite effective for many of the platforms. And then also, let's talk about indexing. I think one of the biggest changes when it comes to answer engine optimization as opposed to traditional search is that Google is no longer the dominant player here. Google normally has around an 80 to 90% market share in search for this. But now, due to the partnership between Microsoft and OpenAI, Bing is playing a key component here. So we recommend always keeping your content indexed with Bing now instead of only focusing on Google. And there's a quite handy API released by Bing called Index Now, which lets you submit new context to not only Bing, to Yandex, and to various other search um, engines to really make sure that when you're publishing new content or updating existing content, Bing is always going to have the latest copy of it in its index. And we've seen with our clients here at Profound immediately that if we start building web hooks or different events or post build hooks, that submit new content to Index Now, it actually starts to get picked up within ChatGPT immediately. So as developers, it's actually quite easy to start creating these APIs to submit your content to really make sure that it's always up to date and that users on ChatGPT and other answer engines always have access to it. So those were four key strategies you could use as developers to actually implement some new um, answer engine optimization techniques immediately. Let's talk a little bit about Profound. Profound is a platform that really gives you the true insights into how to make a difference with your answer engine optimization. We're a company here based in New York City, and we help brands and marketers and developers to really understand and control their visibility in these platforms. And what that means is we create a set of tools to really quantify your performance and then act on it. In terms of the observability and monitor layer, we have a product called Answer Engine Insights. Answer Engine Insights really helps quantify your response, sorry, your presence in the responses. The way that this works is we have a proprietary data set that tells us what are people searching for in these answer engines. And then we'll run large scale evaluations on your brand every night by sending millions of prompts to the models and then analyzing the responses to see whether your brand is showing up and why what type of sentiment is associated with your brand, what type of keywords, and what else are people saying. And this all manifests itself into a data visualization platform that really lets you slice and dice the data and see how you compare across time and across your competitors in your industry. On the developer side of things, we also offer a product called Agent Analytics. This is a server-side integration that we do with your site to identify crawlers that are constantly visiting your site and using your content. So you can see how often the ChatGPT user bot is visiting your site and what pages. You can see when meta is hitting your site. And what gets really interesting is we could actually identify the difference between when you're being used as a citation versus when you're being used as training. What this means is if I go type something into ChatGPT and we immediately trigger a web search, we could identify that first when you're being trained for, say, the new GPT model. Agent Analytics is also incredibly helpful for identifying and understanding your best performing content. We'll tell you which one of your pages and why is it being visited the most by these crawlers. And finally, because it is a server-side integration with your logs, we could do accurate human referral analysis to really understand the path of a user from when they see your content in ChatGPT or it's being linked out, they visit your site from the answer engine, and then they actually act and potentially make a purchase on your page. So you could really understand the whole user journey of discovering your site or your content on ChatGPT down to actually taking action, like signing up or buying something on your site. And then additionally, a new product we're starting to roll out to our customers is Profound Actions. This is all about acting on your presence and improving it. So we use AI to generate absolutely winning content that's based off our wealth of data to tell you what you need to do to actually increase your visibility. What types of content should you be focusing? Long form, short form, different tones of voice, when to add statistics, et cetera. And then we also can help you with the technical optimization of your site automatically through our site audits, which will identify problems with how AI crawlers are visiting and using your content. 
And today, we're excited to announce two new key features to help you all, as developers, win in answer engine optimization. The first is a package on the NPM registry called Next AEO. This is something that you can install right now on your computer. This is going to be the package we use to bring out all of our different features for Next.js apps. But starting today, we automatically generate lms.txt files for you. So on build, either locally or on your server build, if you run this command or put in a post build hook, we'll automatically scan your site build content and generate the lms.txt, all with just one command. So this will save you a bunch of time that you normally don't have to do of writing your own script to actually generate this file or keeping it updated. The second one is we have a Vercel native integration with Profound Agent Analytics. So Agent Analytics was just a few slides ago that analyzes how AI crawlers are visiting your site. And historically, to get this set up, it was definitely a little bit of a cumbersome process. You have to configure your log drain to our API, pass around a bunch of API keys, and even go get the developers in your site, if you're a marketer we're talking to, to actually go get this done. But now this is a one-click integration, which will actually connect your Vercel log drain data directly into the Profound platform. And so you could actually start seeing insights within seconds. No need for a difficult process to set it up at all anymore. So thank you. That wraps up the talk here. We talked a little bit about how answer engines work. And what are some key strategies you could use as a developer to actually start implementing this? And then we had two awesome new releases to start using today the next AEO package, as well as our Vercel integration. You can check us out at tryprofound.com. Um, we are $250 a month if you want to start using our services. Just be sure to use the code Vercel Ship. Um, and then additionally, we're always looking for the best and brightest talent in New York City. If this is a problem that fascinates you and you'd like to come work on it with us, um, reach out to us, and we'd love to have a chat. Thank you.